Hey, what's up, chicas? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope all of you are doing great today. So today we're going to be working with this design in a rose gold. So then let's begin. We're going to be using Sexy Hand from Not Polish. We're also going to be using a white. You can use whatever whites you have around. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use them for the little petals. We're also going to be using Bad and Bougie by Valentino. And this is a personal mix, a personal rose gold mix that I had made quite a while ago but uh, my last year's valentine's collection came with uh, a rose gold mix kind of like this one so if you guys have that then i'm sure you you can recreate this design so anyway you guys let's get started as you guys can see here i'm going to begin with my tips already glued and prepped and everything for the design and i'm using my extra long coffin tips that are available on my online store and these are more like a medium to long length, you guys. These are not that long or not that medium per se. So yeah, you guys, I'm going to begin by applying the Bad and Bougie nude color here onto my ring finger. And I'm not going to cap this color, you guys. I'm actually, I'm actually going to um, strengthen up the nail using only this nude since the nude's do tend to have that strength that a, a nail requires so I'm not gonna be capping with no clear or anything you guys and I'm also using my number 16 brush which I'm still kind of trying you guys I really love it I really like it a lot um, but I don't know if I should put it on the website or another one um, we'll see I don't know yet I'm still debating you guys but of course I will let you guys know and um, this is what the nail looks like from a side view i hope you guys can actually see that it's going thin from the cuticle and then it goes up to a little pancita and then thin again down towards the tip of the nail so next i'm gonna be applying sexy hand from not polish we do have a discount code with not polish you guys just in case you guys are wondering on going and purchasing some of their bomb products I honestly, you guys, honestly, honestly can tell you that their products are just bomb.com um, and they are top notch, honestly. So um, if you guys are looking to purchase some of their products, we do have a discount code. It's just Gabby, G-A-B-B-Y. And it also be linked in the description box below as well as their link to their store. So yes, you guys go ahead and check out the description box below. So here on the pinky, what I'm going to be doing is like a triple ombre. So as you guys saw, I went ahead and applied Sexy Hand from Not Polish. Now I'm going to be adding my rose gold mix and blending it down towards, not all the way towards the tip, but you know, I guess I would say like three fourths of the nail. And um, just making sure that everything, every single glitter is not as bulky and just everything is like in place, if that makes sense. Just so that the glitters don't look very bulky, you know what I mean? So that's, I'm just trying to fix them. And then I'm going to be going in with the nude from Valentino and then I'm going to be ombreing that. So as you guys can see, I'll go ahead and place my small bead because I am not picking up any big, huge beads for that since it is, I am working with since I am working with my pinky so I went ahead and picked up a smaller bead and then I'm going to be picking up a more smaller bead for the cuticle area and now I'm going to blend everything down as you guys can see here if there's more acrylic needed and you see that there's parts to it that's not blended well enough go ahead and add a little bit more of your acrylic and I'm sure that's going to help and it's going to blend everything um, that's what I did there and then here onto my index finger i'm going to be going in again with the bad and bougie from valentino i am so sorry you guys but i do not have a discount code with valentino i wish i did but i don't their products are also really good well they're nudes i i don't really have colors from them i do have nudes and they're really good um but anyway i'm gonna be applying here this nude all over the index finger I didn't really have anything in mind, you guys. I didn't really have nothing in mind, honestly. Um, I knew that I did want it to do that little cross thing from Cheyenne Nails that everybody's been doing. Again, I really wanted to do it on my nails this time, but using, you know, these type of colors. 
And um, I wasn't really sure. I was like, you know what? I'm going to bore them with that. I already did a design like that. But I was like, no, no me quiero quedar con las ganas. Like, I really want to do it. So I went ahead and did it, you guys. And um, I honestly liked it. They're very, I would say, these nails are very simple. But um, they're very pretty, you guys. I would say they're very elegant in some type of way. Not very, very, very elegant. But it's going into towards that direction. But yes, you guys, um, now I'm going to be applying a sexy hand again all over my middle nail. And um, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing to everything. And I'm going I'm gonna to go ahead and cap. Actually, now that I remember, you guys, I think I did go when I had and capped everything. But for example, onto my nudes, I just went ahead and did a thin, super thin layer of crystal clear acrylic. Um, but I didn't cap like as much, you know what I mean? But the rest of the nails, I think I did. I've had this video for like the past week, you guys, so I'm not sure what I was doing. I don't remember what I did. Um, I'm going as I go with the video. And yeah, I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cap everything, okay? And um, yeah, you want to make sure you cap, for example, the pinky. Just because we do have a triple ombre using glitter, you guys. So just make sure you cap everything in place and it secures it and everything just so that whenever you come and file your nails, you won't damage anything just created. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so yes, chicas, I'm going to go ahead and cap everything. I'm going to be using my Glamming Glitz Crystal Clear and my Monomer you guys know that that's what I've been using for the longest now I really like it it's not that it's not as strong um so that's what I really like about it it actually leaves like a little like a little sweet scent to it um but honestly you guys I really like it the uh, another product that I do like is not polished their monomer and their crystal clear acrylic is bomb.com as well I really want to change into that like transition into that you guys um i want to bring you guys new products uh i know you guys are tired of me using the same product same product same products so i think i want to transition more into like different products for example i want to put down my glam and glitz uh acrylic system for a while and start using not polish because their products like i said i cannot express this enough you guys but yeah their monomer and their crystal clear acrylic they're really good as well so i wanna i really want to start using that instead of using my glamming glitz acrylic system for a while so yeah chicas um and yeah that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing i went ahead and filed off camera so yeah another thing i want to do guys just please let me know if if you guys would like to i really want to start getting into like gelix um, not precisely Gelix, but more like, um, you know, more designs like that, you know, like using like dupes from Gelix and stuff like that because Gelix is very expensive. <laughs> but yeah, you know, start doing designs more like Gelix. If you guys are interested, please tell me because I really want to get into that or like lazy girl methods with using a little bit of poly gel. I don't really like poly gel, you guys. I hate it, honestly. I don't like it. I do not like it. I do have some videos down on my channel using poly gel, but honestly, you guys, I don't like it. It's so sticky, so messy. I don't like it. Um, but, you know, anything for you guys, I will do it for you guys. If you guys are interested in, like, um, poly gel or gelix, let me know. Um, I will do more videos like that. Maybe you guys are tired of me seeing um acrylic 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 but that's my thing you guys i love acrylic i freaking love acrylic i will never trade it for anything that's my baby right there but i will do some videos using gelix or like the lazy girl method with poly gel and all that thing so let me know down below you guys i will be reading you down there in the comments but anyway you guys going back to the design here i started off by doing the little crosses or the little x's i don't know what they are and then i'm i'm gonna be going in with my little hearts as you guys can see here and these in like these are like a rosy goldy tone they're very very pretty you guys so i'm gonna be adding them here onto uh the little x's and I went ahead and added them with a little bit of a base coat. I went ahead and applied a tiny little drop of base coat. And then I went ahead and applied the little heart. And now I'm going to be going in with my little lamp and the little, um, what's it called, you guys? I don't know what that, 
I don't know what that's called, honestly. Um, but it's like this little squishy thing that comes like in your stamping plates um, with your with your little stamper. And that's what I actually put on top of the little lamp so that I could recreate the little lamp from Honey Fan, which I also have it. But I don't know, you guys. I actually tend to reach out for this one more. I don't know why. But anyway, I went ahead and cured them under the little lamp. And it just stays in place. And it secures it in place. It, they won't move. They won't budge or anything. And um, I just go ahead and add my top coat. And that's it. But anyway, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing here onto the little X's, like I, like I said. And um, yeah, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of 3D and adding a little bit of crystals and you know just a little bit of everything here you guys so yes i will be letting you guys watch this little part and i'll be right back Okay, so like I said, we will be doing a little bit of everything. So I went ahead and did a V French here on my index finger. And I'm using my white liner gel polish, which you can find them on Amazon. I do have the colorful one. And I do have the nude one, which comes with like nudes and browns. And I love it, you guys. I went ahead and did a little video on my TikTok, just in case you guys are wondering. And I went ahead and looked again for the nude one on Amazon, and I cannot find it. I don't know. I don't know. I went, like, to my purchases. I went and saw and clicked on it to see if they still have it in stock. But it just sent me to these, like, the regular ones, like the colorful ones. And it doesn't give me the option for the nudes, so I don't know what the heck is going on. And I want to even to like search it, and it's not there either. So yeah, girls have been telling me on my TikTok that they can't find it, but I'm so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. I actually bought the nude package um, around December, around there, you guys. But I don't know. It's been a while. It's probably been like a month. So maybe it's out of stock, maybe they're not selling it no more, maybe it was just for the holidays, I don't know you guys. But if I do find it, I will let you guys know. Anyway, here I'm going to be going in with some crystals, and as you guys see there, I already have my V French done. And I just went ahead and did one coat of it, you guys. I didn't see the need to go in with a second coat. So I just went ahead and did one coat of the V French, cured it under the lamp. And now I'm going to be adding my crystals. So um, here I'm going to be going in with my matte top coats. So if you guys want to add crystals onto, your, onto a matte base, I would highly suggest you guys do your matte top coat first and then your crystals. What? I I thought I had filmed where I added the crystals, you guys, but I guess I didn't. I am so sorry, but I went ahead and added those little crystals on there. And here, I'm going to be going in with, like, some petals, like, 3D petals. They're nothing, you know, nothing uh, hard or anything. They're very easy to do. Like I said, they're little 3D petals and using my white. So I started off with these two little ones here on the side. And then I'm going to be going in with more crystals and then another petal and then a little crystal and then a heart in the center. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing to my middle nail. And for that, I'm using a number five brush, you guys, which you can find on Amazon or eBay. It's it's by Pure Color, which the brand already rubbed off from the from the brush itself. I'm so sorry, but yeah, you can find it on Amazon or eBay. They're very inexpensive and really good quality, you guys. I cannot put this 3D brush down for whatever. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to be doing a petal, a crystal, another petal, another crystal, and then the little heart in the center.
So now we're gonna be adding our shiny top coat to the rest of the nails and for that I'm using my shiny top coat. You can find the top coats as well on my online store you guys. I do have the matte top coat and I do have the um, shiny top coat and you can find them there on my online on my online store the link will be in the description box below and i will be having a sale for valentine's you guys everything will be 20 percent off on my online store including everything from valentine's so it's going to be from february 1st to february the 14th um and again everything will be 20 percent off um so yeah you guys here i'm going to be applying on my top coat it just watching that i am not touching the crystals because i don't want to flood them or you know removing the shine from them or anything like that and also i do not like my 3d to be shiny if you do like your 3d to be shiny go ahead and add your top coat but personally i love it matte and um of course here we do want a shiny top coat because we do have glitter going on so i will go ahead and cure that under the light for about 60 to 90 seconds because my lamp is a little small Smaller. um and um i go ahead and add my cuticle oil because you don't want your cuticles looking crusty like i always tell you guys so yes chicas this is it this is the design for today thank you so much for being here i really hope you guys enjoyed it um and thank you so much for everybody who's been here supporting my channel and supporting my store thank you so much from the bottom of my heart i wish i could go and give you guys something each a little present each because honestly i'm very grateful for you guys and thank you once again so yeah you guys i will see you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye